What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another video continuing our Scooby-Doo series. We're going to be talking about the new Scooby-Doo movies. Yes, this is the next incarnation of the TV show and this is in fact the only hour-long run of episodes in terms of the episode length. These were hour-long episodes and these are famously known for being the ep like the series that introduced having special guest stars on the show. And that's like the main one that kicked off. And this is the next incarnation. This came out in 1972 in September. And yes, the new Scooby-Doo movies, you're gonna hear my thoughts, some of my favorite moments, favorite episodes, and all that kind of stuff. And then as well, we're gonna talk about its you know, mark on history and what I, my feelings on the show, if I have any negatives and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna hear about that today, but also be sure to like and subscribe so you continue with me on the Scooby-Doo journey because after this we're going to be on to Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo and the new Scooby-Doo mysteries and there's just so much and so much more to keep going. So let's do this. Roll it. So the new Scooby-Doo movies, like I said, ran for two seasons. It started in 1972 and ended in 1974, I believe. It ran through 73 to 74, but there's two seasons of this show. The first season was another one where it had like about 16 episodes or something like that. And then the second season was a very shortened down season. And the new Scooby-Doo movies, for me, one of the major positives is that this is the one that feels closely to the original one, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? It feels very much like a companion piece, the same characters, same voice cast. This is also, in fact, the last time we see Velma Dinkley voiced by Nicole Jaffe. So that's what I mean. It feels like a very much a companion piece to that first TV show, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? And that's one that's clearly easily the best thing about it in terms of the music, the atmosphere, the characters, all that stuff is on point and feels exactly like Where Are You? And as I said, this is the only hour long running TV show for the new Scooby-Doo movies of the entire show, the run in total now, everything. This is the only one that had that length. And main reason is because they introduced the whole having special guests. So there's like, you know, Sonny and Cher are on here, Batman and Robin, Don Knotts, you know, the Three Stooges. There's a whole host of, you know, special guest stars, the Harlem Globetrotters, where they come on and it's like that episode has that special guest appearance by that person or by that group or, you know, this duo. And that's the main kind of crux of the story. And like one thing I can say is this, the episode length is a positive and a negative with where if it's a positive, it's mainly if you enjoy that person, you enjoy the special guest star and it's actually funny and it serves the story. Because there's a lot of episodes, one prime example is the very first episode, all you gotta do is dive into the very first one, featuring the Three Stooges, and that one already has a ton of filler stuff in the episode where it's just like, you the, the episode length where it's like about you know, because there's usually commercials, so it's usually about 40, 45 minutes in terms of the episode length instead of being like the full hour because there's usually commercials. You can feel it. There's filler. There's daunting, silly jokes and moments that just don't serve the purpose of the story at all. And that's what I mean about the whole positive negative thing is that, like I said, it could be a positive with the episode length, but it's also a huge negative. And in fact, I think even the Hanna-Barbera production company, the writers, the directors, all of them understood that this was the only show ever so far in Scooby-Doo that had that running time. They knew that it was that was one thing that it got very daunting as it went on. But I think it's fabulous that this show was the one that introduced the whole special guest thing. We had Sandy Duncan on here, Dick Van Dyke, like I said, the Three Stooges, Batman and Robin, even though Robin, the character, is voiced by Casey Kasem, I believe. It's just really awesome that they have special guests because, like I said, if that's your key thing. I know a lot of people, when I talk to Scooby-Doo fans, this was the series that introduced them to Scooby-Doo. So it's very high up in their rankings because of that reason, because it was like you have that intro. The, the theme song is one of the best too. The theme song for this season is very good as well. And then you have the intro thing and then you see Sco Scooby and Shaggy and Velma or Fred or somebody holding a flashlight and then there's a shadowed silhouette and then they light it up. And today's special guest star is Batman and Robin, the Harlem Globetrotters. 
Sandy Duncan, like, you know what I mean? It kind of was the almost that intro thing, how Pokemon did it too, how they stole that whole thing of like, who's that Pokemon? And then they revealed the Pokemon of the day. Like, that's what I mean. It keeps you involved. It keeps you invested because they understood like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, we had commercial breaks, so let's keep the kids invested. And for the new Scooby-Doo movies, I think that was one thing. They were like, we're gonna, we're really going bold. We're going for an hour-long running television series with these cartoon characters. It's animation. We have to bring in special guest stars to attract an audience and really get them involved where they're like, oh man, that's awesome. Like, you know, that these people are, you know, voicing these characters and stuff in this TV show. And like I said, with having the returning cast for, you know, Velma, for Shaggy, Scooby, Fred, and Daphne, the returning voice cast, it feels very much at home, a companion piece to Where Are You? And like I said, in terms of atmosphere, the music, all that, this is the one that has the very similar, closest vibe to it. And like I said, for me, the only daunting thing is that it just very much depends on who you like, like if you like the special guest that day, if you think the villains, like to be honest, if I'm really honest with myself, I think the villains from Where Are You are more entertaining. Some of the stories in the Where Are You series are more engaging than the new Scooby-Doo movies. Like I said, there's a lot of parts in this season or these two seasons where it's just filler stuff, just played for laughs, played for jokes, which I'm not saying like, you know, that's not a horrible thing. It's just, I like me some more mystery solving. I like the stories. I like the reveal of the bad guys and I like the bad guys to be very interesting. And like I said, in this show, it you know, there's a few episodes here and there that are really freaking good, but it just really hinders itself on, you know, being who the special guest star is that week. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this chat of the new Scooby-Doo movies. And yes, as you can tell right now, my feelings, yes, Scooby-Doo, where are you, is still like top dog right now. We're not going to talk about ratings or anything like that until we get more into the rankings later when I do that video after I've talked about all the shows. This is just run of the mill kind of talking. Well, not run of the mill, but like diving into the each season and each show more in depth. And that's why I really wanted to do them all solo, all separately. Like I said, coming up soon, we're going to be talking about Scooby-Doo Scrappy. Do the new Scooby Doo mysteries a very jumbled mess right there because what we get into it is like these kind of four or five seasons that happened that was really different a lot of different running times for Scooby Doo and instead of being long hour long runs we have shortened ones then we have the introduction of Scrappy Doo which is very controversial a lot of people either really hate it or they really love it then there's some people in the middle ground so yes we have a lot of Scooby Doo content planned for the channel so be sure you're like subscribed and notified have that notification bell so you're notified anytime i post a video because i want you all here on the scooby-doo journey don't be afraid to hit me up in the comments tell me your feelings on these shows is scooby-doo one of your favorites is the new scooby-doo mysteries or the new scooby-doo movies is this one of the ones that introduced you to these characters because that's always a fun fact i love to ask people when you're a scooby-doo fan is what was the first tv show that introduced you to them and scooby-doo where are you was my first one and that's another reason why that one holds like a lot of nostalgia a lot of weight for me and being really good i mean it is a really good show but it has even more heavy duty you know weight to it because that was the first one that introduced me to these characters but most importantly i want you all to have a safe and happy day Peace out.